You're tuned into news across the galaxy where they talk all things LA Galaxy with the Nag Boys. Let's start nagging. Swear to me. <laughs> 30 minutes. 30 hmm? minutes late. Not too bad. Right? Part of it was my fault. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's all Chewie's fault. Yeah. We'll spare you the details, but I'll tell you right now. <laughs> that's Chewie's fault. <laughs> what a piece of shit. But a uh, uh, big <laughs> piece of shit. Hey, Brian, do the intro, yeah? Welcome to News Across the Galaxy, where we talk all things LA Galaxy. Hey, we need to record that. That sounds yeah. great. That's all I can do. That's what's up. That's all my voice allows me to do right now. That's nice. I like it, though. That might be the new intro forever. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to News Across the Galaxy, where we talk all things LA Galaxy. My name's Eddie. As always, I got Raspy Boy over here. <laughs> Raspy. <laughs> <laughs> we got Chewy the ones and twos. Hey, what up, what up? Uh, we got Edgar somewhere out there. What's up, man? Looks like I'm a cartoon today. Why the fuck? Come on, man. Oh, he's not frozen today. No, you fucking... Made me pay for this service. I want to see his stupid ass face. I mean, his lovely I, face. I didn't make you pay for the shit. Yeah, you did. You're like, I cancel the show if you don't pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> words, and that's why we're late. There, I told everybody, happy. Hey, man, I gotta, I gotta you update that record? cartoon, man, because I look a lot older than I do then now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Don't give the wave yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's working on it. Give the people what they want. He's not, he's not even I'm on. Batman. I can see it from here. I'm Dude, he's not, I'm you can see me in the back right above Eddie's I'm head right there. Anyways, hey, look who's here. Hey. Hey. Tony. <laughs> so Man United wins a couple games and he shows up, huh? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> oh, now, now he has nothing to hide from. The Galaxy one, Man United one. <laughs> oh, shit. That's true. America. Yeah. Let's go. America one. I saw the controversy, the goal. The it wasn't a goal. The camera's angled. Yup. I don't even watch the guy Max. I'm gonna go fuck who wins in that. <laughs> <laughs> Those games. Well, I gotta go away. Um yeah, happy Hispanic characters, but <laughs> fuck Liga yeah, Max. Uh anyways. <laughs> talk about Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh that's something we're gonna talk about before we get into the game. Uh, I I didn't get the chance to go to the game. Uh, I had some things to take care of and one of the things was also watch the fight, which I kinda of regret because that was a whack ass fight. <laughs> if anybody <laughs> watched it. It was a, uh, it was just like elderly abuse. That's what that fucking fight was. It was pretty black. Huh? It was pretty black. Fight. I don't know what he said. Pretty black. We can't hear you, but okay. I know uh, it was a Okay. So, anyways, uh, Brian, Edgar, Tony, Chewy, you guys were there. Well, how was it like when you guys first got there? You know what the whole. Um, I saw. Well, I saw pictures. You know, everyone had their flags. Everyone was repping. It looked. It looked like a good time. Maybe I'm. Kind of glad I didn't go in the sense that uh, I wouldn't have woken up today. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep it short because my voice can't hang. Shit was dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It was a straight up party, dude. What a party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Everybody was fucking having a blast. It was cool. Yeah, I, I got there uh, earlier, a little bit earlier than both of you guys. Yeah, and I took my wife and my son and I, uh, I a couple that is a friend of ours. They have a they have a two year old as well, and so that was their first ever soccer game. And um, we got there, and the first thing you hear is all the musica, and like Maria, my wife Maria, she's like, "I hear marimba." I said, oh. so "I'm like, yeah, Central America, baby." And uh, we were like looking for pupusas, and I think all the pupusas were gone by the time we got there. And I was like, "Damn, we got here an hour and a half before the game started, and the pupusas are gone." Right? Mm-hmm. So I guess you have to be there like. Five hours before the game or something. People were there at four. Yeah, that's where you fucked up. You thinking that hey, you're gonna get pupusas an hour and a half before? Yeah, but we were getting some after pupusas. I think inside the stadium at the at the truck. Oh. Is that the after truck or is yeah. this with the truck? Yeah, that's the after yeah, truck. Yeah, after truck was by the was in the cookie stand. Time, yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, we saw, we get we ended up getting some pupusas from there. Damn, Edgar was, with the pupusa money. It was worth the wait. <laughs> yeah, they're bomb. They are bomb. Yeah. So. Uh, it's funny. I, I didn't get my pupusa my until the second half because we got to take care of a little guy first, and he enjoyed his pupusas. 
and he was celebrating. He's celebrating a lot. And more about him later because yes. you guys are going to love this. But it was yes. cool, dude. It was, uh, they, I remember hearing a bunch of like bangers, Spanish bangers. That was pretty cool, you know? Like the Tia and Tio music? Yep. Love it. Yeah. We are the Tia's and Tio's now. <laughs> Did you get some yeah. Azules in there? I was, um, I was going to say when I, uh, when I got there, I was wearing my Nicaragua jersey and I saw, um, that uh, Brian, that Anna walked up wearing their Salvador jerseys, and I was like, yeah, what's up, man? And there's Guatemaltecos and Hondureños and um, people wearing Mexico jerseys. And yeah, the only person that I didn't see that, was, the only person that, were, that wasn't there that I wish would have been there was, is Chris, because uh, he's uh, he represents Belize, and he wasn't there, so. Oh, yeah. But uh, everybody else was there, very, very well represented. And you know who else I saw? Hanging out, I went over to the large section, and you know, you know who was there, and I knew who was there, but I forgot about it. it was Mister um, Galaxy History? I wish I remember oh, his name. Oh yeah. And it was just it's funny because you you hear about you know you see him post like every day, and you you know you, you interact with him, and and there he is in the in the living flesh. You're like oh shit, it's him. <laughs> Loki, um, you guys disappointed me there. I didn't see anything come back back to me that I was uh with pictures of with him or anything well to, uh, in, in my defense uh, i'm trying to take care of a two-year-old he was running around so i saw him say i said what's up i talked to him for like a couple minutes and i ran off nah that's not fair because in brian's defense he has a mind of a two-year-old that's true <laughs> that is true <laughs> but it's truly really nice to see him there about you know how i i told you guys that guys you know that for the very beginning i told you guys that you guys have a uh, you're in a special position because you're able to curate the history of la galaxy He's somebody who's doing that also, you know, talking about the history of the club and things that happen. And sometimes, you know, it's like obscure things, right? Out of nowhere, like on this day, <laughs> Galaxy beat, you know, Tapultepec, you know, eight to zero in a friendly game in Tijuana or something. You're like, oh shit! <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's nice to, to the fact that he does this, and he's created such a such an impact for the club that. You have guys like Captain Dan and Gato Hartman and other like club team, you know, club history people that want to meet him and spend time with him and talk to him. So it goes to show how important it is to be a link to this team's past and share that knowledge for generations to come because you never know uh, how long we're going to have access to some of the people that have had important historical significance to this club if you guys know what I'm talking about yeah no, I, I, totally loud and clear hey look Edgar's right here hey. Hey. <laughs> I can't see him but you guys can see him <laughs> <laughs> um, that's dope man I'm, like, again if I was there you missed out bro I did you missed out I did and I didn't I mean I you know some yeah. of the things I had to do were fun too got to see my friend do stand up so oh that's cool too that was cool. shout out to Angel yeah, yeah. I actually got to say what's up to uh, the guy, the history guy, too. I seen him in the large section. Uh, all of a Jeremy sudden, Page. huh? All of a sudden. Yeah, second half. Sudden. Second half, I saw him there. I mean, uh, I saw him. I said, I, waved. I don't know if he noticed me, but that's his fault. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said so to him. That's cool, though. Like, I saw him, too. I was watching the game live, and I saw him, too. Oh. Yeah. Well, see, we all saw him. <laughs> <laughs> At least Tony's not lying. <laughs> He saw him too, though. <laughs> I did. I did. Good job, Tony. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see him. Uh, a man from Sussex, England. That's cool. Sorry, bro. I'm all Rex Ham right now. <laughs> Newcastle what? Nah. All right. Uh, I have the wrong lineup here. Ah, yeah, good shit. So let me actually get to the real lineup, and then we can start kind of talking about the game, and, unless there's something else. Bingo, my goal. I mean. What? <laughs> Bingo, my goal. Bingo that goal. <laughs> and right back we have uh Jesse Raw, Sardis. Raw Filter. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the other guy's name? We couldn't remember. It took us forever to remember his oh, name. Yeah. Like, it's gonna happen again. Pony to the guy. Oh the oh one that ran God. like a horse. Oh the left footed. Um Fuck man. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty boy. Fuck. Damn. <laughs> I don't remember his name. Right. Yeah, that guy. I forgot yeah. his name. Senior, yeah, senior, somewhere around Something, no, nice something, no, something, something along those lines. One in there. Insua. Insua. There, you, there go. you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys can rest easy now. 
Alright, cool. Hey, someone in the chat said it. Good, good shit, hearts. <laughs> <Soon>. <laughs> and then at center back, we have uh, Siani. They brought me in. <laughs> Daniel Starris. Daniel Starris. <laughs> Left back. I forgot. Who the fuck? Oh, well, Shelby. <laughs> Why are you guys trying to upset me, dude? Come I on. know. We won. What the fuck? I know. I know. I'm actually thinking about whether I want to nitpick in this game or do I want to just enjoy this win. I think you should enjoy it. This is a, a game that I didn't even think we were going to win. I just went because I wanted to hang out with the peoples. And you don't think we're going to win any game. Is <laughs> that his fault? No, but yeah, that his exactly. fault? It's, it's not my fault. The fuck? I went in there. You know, we haven't beat these ones in five years. So here we go. Let's do it. So here's the actual lineup. Sorry to ruin people's nights. Uh, <laughs> we actually came out with a 4-3-3. Uh, we had Jonathan Bond in goal. Raheem Edwards out at left back. Uh, Casetas getting the start over over Williams. Williams yeah. uh, then he paired up next to Kurobali. You had Araujo out right, and you had uh, sorry Delgado and Brugman in the middle with, R- with Ricky Puge and Grant Sir out left. Douglas goes out right, and Chicha as solar striker. So you saw this lineup surprises, right? No Williams. That's I mean, a bit he, of a surprise. He was on the bench, so yeah, but still, there's still a surprise. Uh, nah. And no Vasquez. I'm no, surprised with that one. Yeah. No Cabral. That one, I mean. I wasn't mad at it. I wasn't mad at it. I liked it. And I'll just I'll just say this part, and you guys could talk about the rest of the lineup. I, I'm sure a lot of people saw the center back pairing and like, oh, why fucking, why Williams? Not, why is Williams not playing? To be honest, like I mentioned this before, Caceres, was, uh, Caceres wasn't bad. Caceres wasn't bad last time, nor was Williams. But I really don't think the center backs are an issue. I think with them hmm. three, no, I don't think, no, I don't think the, the, the last few games at least, all the problems have come from the wing backs. Yeah. So, I didn't have any issue. I was like, cool. I understand they're resting and whatever. Fine with it. It was a shorter week, so I wasn't really tripping about that because you know people say people thought that was a surprise that Williams wasn't starting, but didn't worry me one bit because again, center backs, I'm good with with who we have right now. So the rest of the lineup. Um. I'm actually surprised that Costa started. I didn't think he's done enough for him to earn a a starting position in his team. But then again, we have Cabral. So it's like pick your poison. Pick your poison. Yeah, pick your poison. Exactly. But this game, he played well until that record. (laughs) So so the thing is, too, it's short week. Who do you, you know, who do you bench? Who do you start? So it seemed pretty easy to start Costa on a short week. Short no. week? No, we play next week, no. This was a short week. This we, w- we played Wednesday. Yeah, you're right. We played on Wednesday. You're right. And, dude, on, honestly, on the on the lineup, I, I was not that I was surprised. I was actually happy that they chose that lineup because that's pretty much the lineup I would have chose last week, too, minus uh, uh, Costa. I would have put uh, Cabral to play, mm-hmm. but that was literally what I wanted. Uh, I was happy that uh, Vasquez was not playing this time because I feel like he slows down the game, especially now that Ricky's in the in the lineup. But I honestly was really, really happy, and I was I was looking forward to it. The only thing that was kind of worrying me was uh, the center back, which was uh, Kulabali. Uh, I was afraid that he was probably going to get outrun by uh, Sardis, but that didn't happen. They they stood their ground. So, yeah. Damn, that's how how confident you are in your team. You think your center back is going to get outran by Sardis? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Kulabali, <laughs> I think so. Dude, I know, if it was I know, Williams, was Williams, I think could have could have held it down, but uh, that was my only worry. It was just a center back. Vanny likes Kulabali though. Huh? Vanny likes Kulabali over like Kulibali. over Williams. I get I get ragged on another podcast I'm not even on. <laughs> <laughs> We're liking Kulabali. So, yeah. How'd you see it, Edgar? Give the give the port to Edgar Chewy and his <laughs> loud ass mic. <laughs> well, I, I didn't get a chance to, to even look at the lineup at all uh, because I was, like I said, I have my uh, my two-year-old. But when I s- finally sat down and, like, uh, for the pregame uh, presentation and they started talking, uh, I mean, they started presenting the lineup, I, I was shocked that they went with three forwards. I was like, well, wow, yeah. It's interesting because usually, like, the most we see up top is, like, the rare occasion we have our uh, Chicha and Yovalich. But they they listed Grancier Chicha and Costa up top, and I was like, Costa? This Costa? That guy? Okay, you know, I was like, I was like, well, I haven't beat these guys in so long, so might as well just try something completely different. 
And then I, I noticed that Williams wasn't there, and I was like, Casa is at center back? Like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he 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 wasn't cut out uh, to take over uh, at right back, right wing back uh, for Julian. So playing center back, that's that's where he actually belongs. He doesn't have the legs to play uh, wing back anymore, so might as well just put him there in the middle along Sega. Uh, the only concern I had about that was because um, he's so new to the, the club, I was thinking, I hope that um, they're able to communicate well. So that that was you know, my only concern. Um, but uh, that, that was that. I was like, I was just, I was just hoping for anything because, like a lot of you guys have said, um, we haven't beat these guys in so long. The team is wasn't doing so well coming in, so there was like. Really, no, no expectation. So, but just to see uh, that those three forwards up top, I was like, well, I guess Batty's just, you know, throwing everything out there. You know, even the kitchen sink, Douglas Costa. So, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you're funny. What were you either. gonna say, uh, Tony? Uh, no, and even uh, Caceres, dude. Honestly, you could tell that he is way more comfortable as a seven in the back position. Yeah, uh, I felt like when he played the right back, it was um, he could play it, but I I don't know, I just he just sees looks more comfortable playing the center back position, and it was pretty obvious because yeah. I don't think anything went through him at all. Like I don't think there was no danger throughout the whole game until the very very end. Last one either. I don't think again. That's why I wasn't worried about it. I don't feel like it. Oh, um, and the, the Vasquez thing, by the way, I, I just want to echo uh, uh, that statement about about Vasquez. Um, I think. This is it for him too, man. I don't think he makes it to next season <laughs> because damn of his life. <sighs> you have a lot of faith. You know, I, mean, I, I don't. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think he returns to the Galaxy next season because uh, uh, he's, he's, he's becoming a liability. I mean, if you look at like the guys that we have there now, like Ricky Pooch and Yovelich, I mean, I'm talking about younger guys that you know are going to be here like two, three, four, five years from now down the road. So. You want guys that are going to be able to, to be mobile and stick with with Pooj because Pooj he's not just quick with his feet; he's quick with his mind. So you you want guys that are young enough to be able to pick up on that because the younger you are, you're like you know you pick up this stuff and you you make it second nature. So I don't think Vasquez fits in this system. Yeah, they have that like that La Masia connection, and you see them sometimes pass back and forth to each other, and they kind of work. But Vasquez is too slow. Uh, and it's hurt Galaxy in the past, so it's time to hand over the reins to to Puj and the rest of the guys in the middle and see what goes from there. But yeah, bye, Vasquez. This is your goodbye. Just happy he wasn't playing. That's it. Uh, yeah, I, sorry, I was laughing right now. <laughs> I opened Twitter and that, and it's I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> the fucking uh, video post Malone eating shit it was just replaying <laughs> over and over. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Oh. That was that shit was funny. I'm not lie. Oh, uh, someone fucking cartoon pulled the fucking rug under. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're a Post Malone fan. <laughs> that shit was funny. Uh, but no, you're right. The the whole Vasquez thing. I mean, oh, I think you have too much faith in this front office. I feel. I feel because of Ricky Pooj now. Instead of Sasha, he gets that player coach contract. Damn. And it's bye-bye like Sasha. Like Berhalter, like his last year? Yeah. But Berhalter didn't play as much that that year. No, he didn't play as much. He was just come, he would come in late in games and yeah. the rare start. So I mean, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I'll keep him as a teacher for the, all the youngers. I would just fear that he, he, <laughs> he played too much time. Yeah. yeah, I don't want him to play at all. Yeah. We can just put him on the... On the on the coach fucking payroll just you don't get to suit up sorry yeah sorry do that but fuck it again too much faith in this front office well we didn't even know what was gonna happen uh, yeah. on the off season so but I, was, I, was I know that yeah. Bryant in the, before the game started he literally thought we were gonna lose as always I'm very optimistic so I thought we were gonna win at least 3-1 well to just to bounce off that statement it's kind of hard uh, to feel positive about uh, this game because there are several things working against the Galaxy. Number one is throughout the entire season. It's something we discussed uh, during that Twitter space we had in the, after that last game. 
was that Galaxy does better against some of the stronger teams in the league. They have a really hard time breaking down the, like my buddy says, the more dangerous teams in the league, mm-hmm. the teams that have nothing to lose, uh, the teams that aren't afraid to throw, um, you know, park the bus against the Galaxy. But there was uh, one of the things that go- going into this game that I also wanted to point out is that Colorado Rapids is one of the teams that Galaxy actually had a losing record against coming into this game. Um, they played thirty. They played themselves. They played themselves thirty times. Galaxy had eleven wins, uh, six draws, and twelve wins for Colorado. So, uh, I'm sorry, it was twelve wins, six draws, twelve wins. So it was evenly matched. So this was like I guess the rubber match uh, to see who who would take the thirty first match uh, in the history that they were played each other, at least in the regular season. So that's fascinating. Because uh, as far as we know, Galaxy has been so dominant against some of the other clubs in the MLS. But when you look back at the history, the last time Galaxy beat them, like Bryant said, was five years ago. That was in Denver. And the last time Galaxy beat them at home was October 30th, 2016. So to think going into this game, like, yeah, we got these guys uh, who are really, do- you know, they're not doing so well. Definitely not like last year. And then you got Robin Frazier, who was one of Bandy's mentors. So there's a lot of things stacked against the Galaxy. They, had, they, had, they looked so completely lost against Vancouver. So, damn. You know? <laughs> so for you to think, like, yeah, this is definitely going to put money on the Galaxy to win. And he had to be like a freaking, you know, like some kind of like soothsayer or something. You, know, you, you could see the tea leaves and say, yeah, we're going to win. But going into the game, I didn't expect to win. I just think I was hoping for some pupusas and a good time. <laughs> See, yeah, same. And you had a good time, but no pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have them inside? I, think. I have my pupusas now. I hate, I hate to call this live oh. on the air, but Edgar, I think your your audio's messed up because you're still in the Discord chat as well. So you might want to close close that out. That could help oh. fix your audio. Okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just noticed that that's why. Um, well, let's get to the actual game. How's that? Is that better? Uh, Chewie will figure it out. So we are live, live, live. <laughs> How do you know we're live? Testicles. Testicles. There he is. He's gone. Okay. Um, yeah. The game. So like I was telling Brian, and I was reading along the comments because, again, I was just basically having some family time mm-hmm. for a bit. Um, a lot of the same, right? Possession, possession. Which is, I guess it's okay. But with this team, <laughs> we've seen this, we've seen this before. So the, the only thing, the only thing I can say after watching after watching the game over, that position was a little different in the sense that we should be playing with fucking wingers. Yeah, right. It's obvious. Yeah, in this one, I think Delgado takes a shot early. These wingers spread the defense. Yep. You know, gives more space to to take some chances instead of clogging it up with someone like Vasquez who doesn't have the legs that he used to. I think it was it was uh, showing right away that definitely can't be playing in a diamond no more. Yeah, but we will. <laughs> yeah, that's true. One of the things that um, I noticed a lot was the wingers sucking in and then going out. They went in to out which was something we didn't see in the last couple games with that diamond formation. This time we paid dividends. Also, all that possession, and we actually scored. And we scored first, which is something that, you know, we when the guys first? score first, they usually have a good chance of winning. Uh, I think the best... Is, uh, oh, go on. I was going to say, I, I just think the best way to sum it up is that, yeah, we held possession, but there was intention with... In, uh, no, it was uh, possession with intent. You know, we actually purposely trying to attack. We were purposely trying to shoot. We were purposely trying to score instead of just holding possession just to hold possession because that's what was biting us in the ass. Literally, we would hold the ball and then fuck up and then we get scored on. Yeah. And instead of trying to hold us. the ball and actually <laughs> trying to make a goal, yeah, which we, is what we did, and it worked. We would do the old Simpsons. Back to the center. To the right. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the center. He goes to the left. Back to the center. <laughs> Usually in these type of games where the guy actually holds a lot of possession, 
the opposition usually dares the galaxy to to hurt us. You know, they sit back and like, hey, you know, come give us, you know, come score on us. And this time they did. Uh, the thing I was gonna say that I noticed right from the get go is that uh, the goal, well, the goal came from a source that we we rarely ever see. Usually, a lot of the galaxy offense is generated from the wing backs or from plays that come in from the from the flanks. But this time it's from right up the middle. And I mean, who was it? It was freaking Brugman out of nowhere, out of nowhere, right? Gaston Brugman scoring uh, this beautiful goal, uh, which I gave it up to Ricky Pouge for, uh, for generating uh, the attack. Um, but for Brugman to have the wherewithal to take the shot, uh, when everybody like is so used to seeing Chicha score or uh, you have a ledge and you know now we're we we're hoping that Pujo score a nice goal here and there and I don't know where you got Gaston Brugma who my goodness did you see how he celebrated that goal that dude went nuts he was about to rip his shirt off even before uh, he realized no no yellow before <laughs> before before we get to that goal I do have to point something out right I I mentioned that the problems were the wing backs right yeah oh, oh my god there was a oh, early right chance yeah, right away yeah and oh, yeah, Jonathan that's, Lewis that's the... beat uh, Edwards Edwards you, you know he uh, threw up. I think Zardes. There you go. Your nightmare, Zardes. <laughs> Almost got us. So you know it was an early sign of this is definitely the issue. We still have the same issues with our wing backs. Yeah. And I think did Bond save it? I actually don't remember if he saved it, but no. Uh, I think he just Lewis, missed. Yeah, he tried to. I don't Chip know if it was a shot or, or a pass. But he tried to give um, Bond in a second post, and yeah, he just missed. Oh, yeah. Uh, for finishing my thought, guys, I was going to say that um, I noticed that the both wing backs were playing with much more intensity than I've seen them play in a long time. This is this is the best Julian has played, I think, pro- quite possibly all season long. And Raheem Edwards, uh, despite, uh, you know, some of his defensive, you know, I don't know, issues, he was doing some inspi- he was playing inspired and the one thing i always say is like man he tries too much he just tries too hard and uh with the exception of that one play where he scored for the most part he was just being very intense putting a lot of pressure uh which is incredible so for for him for julian and for costa i thought it was like some of the best that they played all season long and I think those were huge factors in making the Colorado defense fall apart like they did because uh, William Yarbrough was a good goalkeeper. And you could see that he stopped some really good shots. Right before Galaxy scored, he was stopping some shots. And even after, throughout the game, he was making shots until finally his defense let him down. And there was nothing he could do because all those goals were bangers, man. Oof. What, what a through ball! What a fucking ball! What a through ball! It's perfectly, I mean, perfectly, yeah. pre- press the right amount of triangle. Yeah, <laughs> to give that outside, dude, and look at the run too. Yeah, that's th- this is what pisses me off about about uh Vanny, right? Grant Sir's been here since the beginning of the season. Mm. Uh, he's been practicing. He knows what Vanny wants to do. Vasquez starts slows it down. These these late runs don't come in. That dude. That starts that that run starts behind Ricky Puge, right? He makes that run. He makes a gesture to Grand Sir, and Grand Sir just fucking puts the perfect weight on it. As soon as he starts making the run, on the dime, like he knows, dude. Like, that was beautiful. He knows the way this game wants to be played. Yep. I mean, Vanny wants this game to be played, and that shit pisses me off. Seeing things like I me, mean, of course, it makes me happy to score, but that they score, but it pisses me off that like, bro, if there's anybody that that you can argue should have been starting. This whole time when he when he doesn't start his his, his grand Grant sir. over Cabral Guys. over Vasquez he's got to start. Can we talk about how beautiful that pass was again? I mean he did it he does it with the eyesight of his foot and he puts a nice little curve on it. Oh my god, what a beautiful pass! It looks even nicer when you're watching in slow motion. I think it's a thing of beauty. Yeah, it was a gorgeous goal. The whole play from the run to the pass. How easily they broke down that defense—something that the Galaxy hasn't been able to do—with teams that sit back on them. 
And and maybe do we cut him off guard? Because I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't expect that from a center back to to run up, you know? Well, mm -hmm. CDM. Like, well, yeah, center center defensive mid, my bad. But uh, he, yeah, like Eddie said, he literally called his hand. He raised his hand. He called for the ball, and sure enough, he fucking dimed it right in his feet. It was beautiful. And that and that, go, and that can only happen when you play with wingers because you spread you spread yeah. the other defense. <sighs> fucking Benny. The whole in to out. Movement that, that uh, Costa and Grand Sir were doing, it was beautiful in that first half. Like, who the fuck was the scene? Where has the scene <laughs> been? Like, hey, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, I'm glad that they won. It's just, Makes I'm with you, Eddie, when you say you're frustrated, when you see things like this, that they're capable of doing things like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting you would say that, um, like, where has this team been? Because did it really really take getting a 3-0 thrashing by Vancouver for these guys to suddenly wake up or listen to whatever Vanny was saying or whatever Cam Dan was just telling him because how many times have we seen these guys get dismantled throughout the season and we discussed, you know, or we you know, probably thought about it to ourselves like, you know, oh, I bet right now Vanny's yelling at these guys or, you know, Dan Kalichman is like tearing somebody a new one and I bet you that these guys are going to come out next time and play hard or whatever. And then they come out and nothing changes. So what happened? I know that um, I, I know that, that last loss must have hit them really hard because you week in and week out, we always hear about Chicharito talking to the media and trying to be as positive as possible, trying to spin things as positively as, po as, as he can. But after a while of trying to say the same thing, you have the things to say. So instead of just talking, just shut up and play, man. And it seems like they finally did that on, on, a, on, a, time, on a day when we least expected it. But and where we mostly the, needed it. That, that's kind of funny that you would say, that you would mention that, that Williams, like, is the one that, uh, do you want to say bitch? Yeah, I'll say it. It's nag. Bitch, bitches, and wine, bitches and wines, and he's the one that gets benched. That gets benched. <laughs> um, the, the, here's the thing, though. Yeah, they they, they got <laughs> they got this win, right? Yeah. But how do you maintain this level of intensity for these last three games? That's gonna be the, yeah. What do you mean the, the last three test. games? More like the last eight next eight games, you know? There you go. Yeah, let's go, <laughs> man. Let's go. Yeah. Price calm me up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? The circus is in town, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, put, Brian, put on your clown makeup, Brian. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, gotcha. Shit. I'll start with the lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> little nose. Uh, yeah, it's. I don't know, dude. I'm, I was happy though. I was sitting in a Victoria block at that point. I saw the perfect through ball. Saw that goal. Then the next one's even more beautiful. Two beautiful goals oh. in a row. This is where I nitpick. Why are you not going to nitpick this goal? No, it's a great goal. 100%. It's a a brilliance. Goal. Individual We're about, this is Raheem, right? The Raheem. Individual brilliance you know right what? there. Great goal. I won't take nothing from I him. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, but it's a bit true. Well, then say it. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't want to say, say it. it. Say it. Say it's it. Just, there is some sus defense there. Some sus... Yeah. What? Uh, what's that guy's name? I forgot. I, I swear I was going to remember his name. Uh, Rosenberry? Yeah. He... He's covering the the, in, the basically the the center right like uh, the cut into the goal. Yeah. And when he makes when Edward makes the cut to the left, they both fucking move, and I'm just watching them like, fuck, what is this pro clubs? I'm watching my <laughs> I'm watching my fucking team play. I don't know. Again, <laughs> sorry, Tony. <laughs> hey, both defending now too. So I think center back, dude. Fuck. <laughs> No, it's a, still a great goal. It's a great finish. Yeah. But, they, well, come on. You got to admit, there is some sus defense there. That's why I said I, I don't know if I wanted to nitpick or not in this game. But in that one, I mean. I mean, then again, there's sus I'll defense in all of MLS. So. <laughs> this, is where, uh, this is where it's kind of funny because I feel like Raheem Edwards went for after the nightmare, you know, at the dig, right? You all remember that. After that really dig, we feel kind of like. He Edwards kind of fell off the map, and he he was uh, he was uh, guilty of trying too hard, especially against LAFC. 
like we, we all saw it. He did it against TFC as well. So he's kind of been in the doghouse with a lot of us. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, he never oh, He's one of those guys that Williams called out, damn it. <laughs> and look at him now. He's like, he's like, he wasn't even called up to the Canadian roster, something the Canadian national team. But this was funny because when you when you go back and look at it, this was such a nice goal. It was I I, mean, I don't want to go as far as saying he channeled Diego Maradona because that that's too much, right? But the the fact that he took the ball from the middle of the field, ran through three defenders, like juked that dude out of his boots, <laughs> and then he went he kicked the ball to like where Yarbrough was not gonna get it. To where, Brian? To what happens up in that little corner? What are the spiders living up there? Oh, the spider nuts. <laughs> the spider, spider nuts. nuts. <laughs> the last one there, top shelf goal. Like, god damn, what a, yeah. what an awesome goal, man. I mean, I mean, we, 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 we bash him so much, but because some of the things that he's done that it has hurt the team, but... Good job, man. That was such a nice goal. And it pumped up the crowd. And after that Brugman goal, you, you get this one? Like, oh, my goodness. Dude, what, in the what, first... What, 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 Jesus. I, like, goodness. That's a beautiful goal, man. And honestly, that. first time that I see Raheem... Uh, no, yeah, Raheem Edwards and uh, Araujo both shooting from outside the box or even inside the box. They normally always take the space and try to pass, but I was seeing them shoot this time, and I was like, bro, like this is something they should be doing, especially Edwards. I, I always see him in good positions to shoot, and he's always trying to look for the pass. They want to play slot on ball. Yeah, dude, and it's like, bro, like you have the space, shoot it, and I'm super surprised and happy that they took those uh, chances. Even at Ajo, bro, because he, he had like a, a good blast towards the goalie, and I think the goalie blocked it or something. I don't remember, or he blew it up, but... I mean, he's trying, bro. You know, and that's what you Ooh, should be doing. He's trying. Yeah. No, but I, I mean, personally, I think this was one of Araujo's best games. This season. Yeah, yeah, this season. Yeah. And then the third goal is even more of a banger. Made me lose my right. voice even more. Where it starts, Goodness. though. Where that play starts. Fucking Ricky. Yeah. Splitting Ricky two defenders. Ricky to Julian. Oh, he Julian like, does he, his he cuts. beautiful run. Go ahead, go ahead Eddie. Uh, dude, the way he, okay. Splits the two defenders. The two and, then, defenders. and then the, the type of pass he gives. Yeah. Like, that's like soccer IQ that <laughs> I don't think we've seen here, right? <sighs> who tries to, who doesn't try to round that ball on the ground? Yeah. Right? Instead, this guy, like, chips it or floats it to his foot. Like, that shit lands on Julian's path on his foot. Oof. It's like, there's no way that he could or should mess that that ball up. I mean, th- honestly, and even that, dude, like, I was pretty uh, happy that Araujo didn't fuck that up because, <laughs> like, yeah. bro, he, he, he held it down. Like, he brought it down and he did one more big step and he took the space, you know? And normally, like, honestly, I'm always expecting he's going to fuck it up, you know? But he didn't. You guys ready see, for the most obvious see, but a- accurate um, description? You have that goal? That was a striker's finish. Yeah. You have a little bit of time. You have a certain, you only have a certain amount of angle there. How do you finish this ball? Como sea. And he. Como un maestro. Dude, another moment of brilliance. From starting from the run that Chicha made from that backside. The second CB couldn't catch up to him, which was a booba car. If we just ran back by him to the first post. You want to say it again? No, I was gonna say it looks to me like it was. It's one of those plays that you uh, you rehearse a lot in practice, mm-hmm. and uh, I just feel like the ball didn't get to Chicha when he wanted it to, so he improvised. And my goodness, what a, he the way he improvised with that little taquito, a little you know flick flick of his heel, completely caught Yarbo. Uh, I mean Yarbo, he's like I guess he's a he's a great goalkeeper. He. But what are you going to do with that? It was so fast, and Chicha's Chicha, you know, in the six, he's 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 deadly. And you never expect this kind of play, though. Like, damn. <laughs> it's it's something that if it was like a split second later, it wouldn't have happened. So credit to Chicharito. Uh, he, I mean, he's he's made things a little more difficult for the Galaxy, you know, after his antics and those, those previous few matches, but... This this right here it helps alleviate some of that some of that 
that pain, I guess you could say. Yeah. And at that point, up 3 nothing, you're like, damn it, guys. You can't mess this up. You can't mess it up. This is no- beautiful. 3 nothing, and, and how far into the game we were? Was it was it, like, like the 30th first minute? minute or something still. There was still a lot, still a lot of game left. Yeah, yeah, in the first, first half. half. So, shit. And, yeah, dude, I remember looking at Chewie and like, bro, like, there's no we're going to fuck this up. Like, they can't. They can't have it. They can't that's, happen. But, dude. Even at that point, I was like, man, we've they was going to fuck it up somehow. Right. We've seen a 3-0 get fucked up. Yeah. And this is the galaxy we're talking about. A team that's been up and down. They're, uh, they're an enigma when they play every game. You don't know what you're going to get. And seeing how it was another promo night, and they usually don't do well on promo nights against a team we haven't beat in five years. Of course, I still have my doubts. Even at 3-0, I thought I have. Even after seeing three... Bangers back to back to back. I was still with my doubts. Nice straight up so chewy like two zero. I'm worried. Like fuck, you know, we need another one. Three zero. We can't fuck this up. (laughs) Bet. (laughs) You know what the the best thing about all that was was that uh despite the fact that USC was playing a football game, um college football game right up the road where you know they always pack it in at the at the Coliseum. The fact that the Canelo fight was going on against Triple H, you know, um, there was still, you know, the crowd. I mean, people put it out like, yeah, you know, the the stadium looks sold out. Like, well, yeah, I mean, there's it's LA. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know, Saturday night, especially you know, the college football is in town, and of course the fight. But the crowd that was there, it was like if everybody was starved for something like this a lot of, like we said like we keep saying a lot of us went there because of Central American night and to celebrate with our friends or our family and then you get this like oh, wow so everybody was excited I know like my little guy my little two year old dude he was standing up and cheering and screaming his head off and which is awesome by the way uh, and so damn I, I, I was so happy and if I'm stumbling on my words, it's because I'm telling my third one. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, and, and what you said, bro, that the, what was the fact that last time you brought your son, who, who did we win? Oh, what? yeah. Okay, I, I brought my son. This is the second Galaxy game. And I, the last time he was there, uh, Galaxy beat Austin 4-1. to one. <laughs> so, Exactly. <laughs> Another Dude, 4-1 victory. I, I brought him at 4-1, so there you go. That's a sign, bro. That just means you have to bring him to the next game. Which is right. San Jose. Take him to San Jose. Take him to San Jose. <laughs> Put him on the bus. Just make sure he doesn't have to use the restroom. Yeah. I mean, he just goes on himself, doesn't he? True. Uh, save that potty training. Trust me. <laughs> uh, three out the half. Three oh. Three oh. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh, uh, we're dancing. We're cheering. Cheering. We're screaming. living, bro. Uh, I'm Losing over here, my voice. I'm over here falling asleep watching the fight. <laughs> Brian already sounded like Batman. <laughs> Watching Canelo uh, doing elder abuse and shit. Oh, where, yeah. where is and, uh, she? It's like three zero, and uh, Wild Brian appears in our area. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. That was awesome. That was actually I had pretty cool. I had a slow poke face the whole time I was over there though. Catch the brain. Catch the brain. Yeah, nah. <laughs> you ain't catching me. <laughs> the only lucid Brian. <laughs> Yeah, so should we go into the half or how? Um, well, I mean, what are you thinking? Three zero. Like what? I told these guys earlier, three zero. There's no way we're gonna yeah, fuck that I w- up. I was pretty much watching the game because I think at that point the fight hadn't started or they were really coming in. So yeah, it was one of those. It's just one of those things where um, maybe if we had that diamond formation and somehow we were up three zero, I probably wouldn't have felt as great. But the fact that there wasn't the diamond formation, and besides the, actually there was another one I think. Um, but besides the Jonathan Lewis and one other chance, I'm forgetting. They never. There was us. yeah. There was no danger from them. No. We uh, held it down, bro. We held it yeah. down, and we kept possession. And a pretty good stat from that first half. And I wanna uh, and I wanna and I wanna circle back to the uh, center back conversation at the end of the, okay. of the show because, again, my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. I think that center back positions are good no matter who's in there but agreed but who do you who do you actually start <sighs> williams um, i don't know well we'll get back to it yeah that's right we'll so circle back and, and, and first half, i wanted to say something uh the elegaxi had 10 shots and seven on target and those from those seven 
three went in. So that's a pretty efficient rating. You had Chicharito with three on target and one actually went in. So you have your, your forwards uh, being efficient. Um, a very uncharacteristic of the LA Galaxy to be this efficient and this clinical in those type of situations and against a team we haven't beat in, in five years. So it, I still have my doubts. So. We beat the we beat the Bobcats, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we beat the Bobcats. That's my fucking yeah. fucking the, Bobcats. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've said this plenty of times, but yep. Colorado is just the Charlotte Bobcats to the Lakers, and we couldn't <laughs> fucking beat that team for whatever yeah. reason. Shaq and Kobe in the court don't matter. Paul Gasol and Kobe don't matter. We couldn't yeah. beat the fucking Bobcats no matter what. Fucking Bobcats, bro. <laughs> Until they um, switch back to the Hornets, and then then they were in trouble. Ass <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, uh, I was actually feeling uh, feeling kind of confident at the half, uh, up three nothing because uh, you look at who the who Colorado has has up top. It's Giassi Sardis. Sardis is not what he used to be. Um, I think he he had he had his last good year with uh, with uh, with Columbus in 2020, and there's a reason why he's no longer there. I know we were always joking about, I'm like, hey, look, Columbus has a DP coming off the bench, but. He's not at that same level anymore. The, some of the goals that he scored with Colorado had been unbroken plays uh, from opposing defenses and capitalizing on some of their mistakes. But one of the things that we talked about is Galaxy center backs uh, are actually pretty, you know, they're, they're pretty solid with uh, a few exceptions. Some of the issues of some of the goals that Galaxy has allowed is because um, our wing backs have been deficient on defense. But Tonight, they were playing with a lot more intensity, uh, and they were running up and down the flanks and doing a good job of limiting Colorado's opportunities. And I'm sorry, but as much as we love Sardis for what he has contributed to his club, uh, seeing him play for Colorado, he's a shell of his former self. So I felt pretty confident with that 3-0 lead. I was like, I was like, I was like it's going to take something like... Incredible. I mean, literally incredible for Colorado to come back. Yes. Galaxy, bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mean it would take something very Galaxy? I think the only one club in the entire season has has uh, given up a three goal lead. I can't remember who it was, but that's Cincy, Cincy. I want to say Cincy. Yeah, I think New it was York. Cincy. Yeah, New York versus Cincy, and then uh, Cincy blew I three. do remember because I was like, LFC is still the only team to blow a three zero lead and lose. So it was about to happen to Cincy because New York went up 4-3 and then Cincy tied 4-4. I was like, oh. yes. <laughs> Levels are still the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking losers. <laughs> Yo, and something I want to say about the first half, too. I don't know if you... I mean, I think Eddie mentioned it earlier, too, uh, when, before the podcast, but that foul in the first half to Chicha, bro, mm. that was brutal. Like, yeah. I don't understand why that wasn't a red... That should have been a red card. Yeah. That was pretty nasty. I think so, too. Abubakar should have went out. He slides from behind, studs up, and just... Goals at oh dude that could have ended his season right there definitely yeah I don't I don't see in an age with where VAR exists how you justify that not being a red somebody that was tell nasty me. dude right do you remember it Edgar I just thought about what, I mean I saw Chicha go down I didn't get a good look at the at the play because like I said I had my two year old in my lap literally he was like jumping around I don't understand but the day and age of you where YouTube exists you didn't go back and look at the highlights of your <laughs> <laughs> sorry bro <laughs> no, but you, you know what you're, you're actually that qualified to be a ref bro. in the MLS I was going to say though that uh, <laughs> Colorado was taking a lot of liberties on uh, with some of the fouling, and I guess when, when you're down like like they are, and all of a sudden you find yourself, you know, down three nothing in this game against Col- I mean against Galaxy, then you don't give a damn. You're gonna start you know attacking people, and I uh, don't necessarily hurt them because I don't. I feel Robin Fraser has a malicious bone in his body, but. Uh, maybe his players just were really frustrated. Some of that frustration boiled over towards the end of the game, but uh, yeah, there, there's there's some there were some pretty hard tack hard, hard tackles during the game, and um, the one with Chicha definitely they should have looked at that. But we're talking about MLS, MLS VAR. People talk about VAR or VAR in the Premier League. Man, look at VAR and, and uh, MLS. It's so it's so inconsistent. Um, and I'm just going to say this real quick. 
when I first heard about VAR coming into MLS, one of my hopes was that it would be similar to what the NHL does and the National Hockey League does whenever they have a play that needs to be reviewed. They have, instead of having like somebody up in the up in the, the booth or whatever, they actually take it back to their headquarters in Toronto. They have some referees there or some officials that are like the top professionals in their field. And they will let you know what the play is or what the call is within like 30, 30 to seconds to a minute. And they're always on point. Like you never hear anybody complain about what the NHL does. And I was really hoping MLS would have something like that, but it's so inconsistent. A lot of times you don't know what to expect. And so this might have been a situation where, where Abubakar should have been sent off. It would have completely changed the, the game. It would have been like, what, 7 nothing, 8 nothing. Yeah, dude, come on, MLS, learn from NHL. Let them fight. Fuck. Let's go to the penalty points, baby. <laughs> yeah, Costa was ready to throw down. But yeah, we will get to that. You know, that Costa call would have been different. If yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, it would have been justified. I would have been down. <laughs> so yeah. now halftime. Half time. Going to the second well, we, half. We already talked about how we felt. We're going to have second half. It's got to be more, right? We're going to rally. 3-0, baby. Yeah. I... Seeing how the LA Galaxy usually Galaxies. plays in Galaxies, uh, another thought that came to me was just the LA Galaxy holding possession for all of the second half. Which That's, wasn't really the case because they still tried to go and push yeah. up to attack. It didn't even take long. It didn't take long. Another banger. This was just a game of nothing but oh, bangers. Dude. So that actually, I know everyone's talking about Raheem Edwards should get goal of the week. I think this the goal, Brugman. because so it starts with the pass too. Ricky splits splits the again the, again the two player no with the pass not the dribble and fucking Gustav does a fucking just an easy like hip fucking turn to to pull off one man Abubakar I don't know if he's like this this if Brugman is aware of the game but he knows Abubakar has that yellow. So he takes a step right, knowing that this guy's not going to lunge at him. And Smart. What would you say? No, but Abubakar, Abubakar um, he hesitated. Uh, I, 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 think, I don't think he expected Bruma to take that shot. Because Bruma is, is not the, he, like, like we said, that first goal. Now, when Bruma scores, like, wow, <laughs> it's got some Bruma. You know, when, you know, when he has scored, you know, he's, <laughs> it's his first goal, right? So... I'm sure Rubicar is like, oh, this guy's probably going to, you know, try to dish it off to, to Chicha or somebody else. But no, uh, Brugman notices that Rubicar hesitates and he's like, aim. He, he does a little math you know, on his hand, looks it up, takes the shot. Ooh. <laughs> what a nice shot. And, right. and I think it's for yeah. the same reason that Eddie said. Like, he's on the yellow, dude, so he can't stick out his foot out, you know? Because yeah. Rubicar's not that bad of a defender. He's not. I think he's a solid MLS defender. But yeah, Spider Nuts. That was that was beautiful. Spider Nuts are beautiful. That was Sing a it. banger, dude. Spider Nuts. <laughs> spider Nuts. <laughs> Poor Spiders didn't get to sleep at all yesterday. Yeah, hell yeah, they didn't. I mean, that wasn't a Spider Nuts goal, but nah, it was like it was right over netting. the goalie, dude. Yeah. It was over the goalie. Another individual violence by uh, Brugman. We had I, I don't know if you guys watched the, the interviews, the post interview from. Uh, who they interviewed, which was pretty much the coach, Vanny. I think it was Brugman. And then they interviewed Edwards, Edwards too. Yeah, I don't know if you guys listened oh, to I them. I didn't listen to it. But, uh, yeah, dude, like, even uh, the coach, he straight up says, you know, uh, that Brugman has been telling him that I could score goals, bro. I could shoot. I could do this. I could do that. And he showed up this time. So it's like, I told guy, you. Damn. When was the last time we had a CDM that could step up and score better than yours? Revolution. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the replacement of him. Yeah, yeah, doing doing the same same man. yeah, but literally, Coach Vanny straight up said in the interview, like, he's been telling me that he could score, and he showed up, dude. That's funny, yeah, because Revolution actually said the same thing. He said the same thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I want to go up, I want to score. I can. Yeah, and so he's like, oh, yeah, go to France, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe oh, yeah. Yeah. get out of here. Go score a let go over there. <laughs> The great thing oh. about your CMs or your CDMs taking shots from the outside, it loosens up the defense to let like a Chicharito do those runs from the back, and then those guys can fake a shot and then give them those through balls. 
And it's something with the man, we've been missing uh, yeah. those just taking those shots. And in this game, they did. You know, one thing I forgot to mention, um, you know, the whole body language thing. Yeah. The first goal from Brugman, the fucking celebration. Do you think him and Cheech are playing Call of Duty together? <laughs> I think that's what it is, huh? I think it's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> Hey, sir, he brings them back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty epic. Yeah, it, it's funny. I, and then I forgot to bring it up to the uh, the Cheech uh, goal. The Cheech goal. It was like it was fucking Ricky's goal. Did you guys see what Ricky did? No. Hey, nah, man. <laughs> go back and go look at it. Bro. He <laughs> runs and he fucking slides on his knees. I, I got I, I, I to gotta say this. <laughs> dude, I, I got to say this about Ricky. Uh, every goal that, I mean, he even if he didn't score, every goal that Galaxy scores, he fucking celebrates mm-hmm. like he... Like he's about this shit, you know, and I love that so much, dude. Like, I feel like he truly fucking wears the, the, the badge, you know, like yeah. he knows how important this shit is. He knows how important everybody's looking at him, you know? Yeah. So I feel like every time we score, this fucker celebrates like, oh, my God. I like, think if the club treats him right and the fans treat him right, he'll commit. Well, the fans yeah, already yeah, love him. Yeah, no, but we can't bash him, bash him at all. Every game he plays is perfect. Ricky, te mamo, Ricky. Yeah, even last game, even last game, he had a. Uh, I mean, that's what it takes, Brian. Come, come on. I, I love you, fam. <laughs> Take one for the team, bro. So that's why you have a raspy voice. Oh, <laughs> Ricky, what is it? Ricky, Ricky Block. <laughs> Ricky Splooge. <laughs> I was gonna say Ricky Splooge, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> well, well, my hey, like I was gonna say uh, after the after the last game against Vancouver, um, during the Twitter space, we were discussing uh, about just how the whole team fell apart, right? And one of the things I said was like, this was, and it looked like that was Pooch's like it was like his worst game so far in MLS. And one of the things that we discussed, Eddie, and you don't know what I'm talking about. The smile was gone. The smile was gone. He was he looked so angry, especially in the last three games. But uh, this performance right here, smiles back, baby. And let's, let's hope to keep that smile on that face for the rest of the season because uh, he's proven so important to this club. <laughs> Where would Galaxy be right now without him? Seriously. Uh, there's nobody else in this club that has that kind of impact. I mean, this guy deserves to be a DP, right? But instead we had a DP on the bench and other than that, it's probably done for the rest of the season after what happened yeah. at the end of the game. You know, you know what? Is it is it crazy to think that? <clears throat> okay, there's this deal in place, right? Yeah, there is. He's right? gonna get like a DP years. spot. Yeah, I think, I think it's just, it, they just had to make it happen, and then, fuck, who goes? Just to say, Costa goes, right? Yeah. Or or you know, I, I don't even know the details, but there's also the. Uh, you could loan Cabral. No, no, but there's also like how like every year the the TAM goes up. Somehow Costa becomes a TAM. And as soon as the offseason fucking uh, Ricky becomes a DP, I would be surprised. That guy's worth way more than one point, whatever the fuck. Yeah. I want to keep him, man. I, I want to keep too. him. And the I, shit is with him, too, uh, he doesn't play like, oh, I'm, I'm not getting paid. He plays because he wants to play. Yeah. He plays with heart and soul to a team that's been mediocre at best, right? So right. you you want to see this guy be, you know, you want to reward him. So why not with a DP contract? Of course, you're going to have to fucking move some pieces. The pieces that we want to move Climb, should be out. Some fuck, do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be, uh, I don't know. I, I just, again, it's... <laughs> The guy was like this huge prospect from one of the biggest clubs in the world. Yeah. That one that one point, whatever, it doesn't make sense. Now you're watching him play. It makes less oh, sense nah. now. Easily the best we did, in, in We did MLS. some sh- shady shit right there. Bro, I think, uh, yeah, me and Chewie were talking about it at the game yesterday that the, probably the way that the reason that he's playing so good or so amped or so pumped is that everybody left him for dead. And he's like trying to prove everybody wrong. Like, oh, fuck yeah. you guys, yeah. you know? Yeah. Absolutely. He's, he's, he's definitely playing play with. Yeah, definitely uh, playing with the, the chip on his shoulder, like you, Eddie just said, because um, I know a lot of Barcelona fans are like, yeah, okay, you know, he, he was good. He, he At one point, he was the future, but, you know, what have you done for me lately? And so when he came in my life, a lot of people were like, eh, 
you know, that's where he belongs. He, he doesn't belong with Barcelona. He's never going to cut it here. But wow, is he making a case for himself? So, uh, that's why I think, you know, when people say, like, oh, you know, look at the MLS jersey sales. Like, like buddy, wait until the 2023 season comes around. You can see a Ricky Poos jerseys from coast to coast, man. As he's, he's different than most of the players in this league. As long as Galaxy has been trying so hard to find obscure players, some obscure leagues, trying to like find the next Joseph Martinez or Carlos Gill, like I've said before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. don't speak his name, <laughs> I, dude. <laughs> and I totally, I totally agree because I only have out of Galaxy jerseys. I have a Kobe Jones. I have a Donovan and a Gerard. Gerard, can know people hate Gerard, but Brian knows how I feel about Gerard. Is like somebody yeah. I idolized growing up, so. I was always going to get a Galaxy Gerard jersey. Yeah, and his even, prime, he was one yeah, of the best. And I don't even have a Keen. I don't have a Slatan. I don't. Oh, I have a Beckham. I have a Slatan. I have a Beckham. Uh, you have a Dos Santos one, so. And I have a Dos Santos <laughs> Gio one. Gio Dos Santos. A Gio Dos Santos. Um, yeah. But already I'm thinking, like, I think I want a Ricky jersey. I, I, I told that to Chewy at the game yesterday. I'm buying his jersey. Yeah. Like, because I don't have the jersey for this season, <laughs> oh, yeah. but I'm getting it. I, 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 I would have had a Buffalo uh, jersey, but you know how that went. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been in jail. Yeah. <laughs> Rick is easily the best center mid in this league. Not Cam. The best center mid. Box right, to box. Guys. Best center mid. He in plays the league. everything, dude. CDM, so, Cam, center mid. He's everywhere. Honestly. That's how I so, see him. Here we go. We're all putting that thing, right? Everybody's feeling good. There's no way there's no way they're gonna lose this. Oh game. yeah. Yeah. Of course. We gotta talk about it. There's no way yeah, yeah. This is this is the reason why I bring it up like this is because this has this has a greater impact that a lot of people um, might not realize because it, it has there's several layers to this. And one, we're up for nothing. Grant Sir, uh, you know he 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 takes a, like a hard shot from one of the Colorado players. I'm sorry, I can't remember right now who it was, but I remember thinking to myself, you know, Grant Sir, he, he's a he's a tough little mofo. Uh, this guy can take care of himself. Uh, he's the last person I would I would think needs somebody to come in and back him up in, a, in like in a squabble or whatever. Because I saw this guy li- literally pick up some LAFC player and drag him across the field and throw him off the field at the end of that Galaxy game versus LAFC and during the U.S. Open Cup game. So I know this guy. He's not gonna he's not want to back down from a fight. So I see him, you know, squabbling with this guy from Colorado. And what happens next is one of one of the most like immature, narrow-minded, short-sighted things I have seen happen on on our pitch at the dig. I hold on in, in a long time. Hold on, hold on. Let me intervene. Am I crazy to say that I actually liked it? If you, you follow cool. them on social media, I, 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 him and Grand Sir are close. That's what fine. Barrios did, well, it was, it was Barrios, by the way, uh, Edgar. What Barrios did is the same thing that, that Costa did. Yeah. It's just that Barrios couldn't, couldn't fucking, like you said, he's a little fucking pit bull or whatever, however you want to call it, Grand yeah. Sir. He did the same thing, except that, you know, Costa ain't no bitch. So I get it. Yeah, it is immature, no, no, but I didn't no. hate it. No, let, let, me, let me explain to you. From Push his shoulder, not his face. Yeah. No, let me explain it to you from my point of view, okay? In, in my experience, okay, uh, my wife, uh, she she's an engineer. My wife. And, <laughs> so, so my, my wife is an engineer, and she had to go to, uh, t- you know, she had to go to the whole engineering program at Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, while she was there, there were times I would hang out with her where she was in study groups, and I would see, and she would tell me about this, but I, sometimes I would see some of the guys in the engineering program like treat her and demean her and in such a way that I would get really upset. But I know she can take care of herself. I know she's she's tough. She's pretty strong. She and unless things got physical, I wasn't gonna step in because I know she could take care of herself. Now we were just talking about how Grand Syria he's he's a tough little dude. I mean we this guy's tough. I mean I wouldn't want to square up with him in an alley fight. And for Costa to do that, I mean, I don't care how tight you are. I'm, you know, I'm married to my wife. It's as tight as you can get. I'm not going to step in unless, you know, I know that she absolutely needs my help. But 
for Costa to do that, it's so stupid. It's so immature. That's just why I said it, it was so immature because you know what? One for nothing. It, Costa is going to take care of himself. It's all good. And all of a sudden, Costa runs in there. He gets red carded, and it puts the team down ten, you know, to ten men. Number two, you know, after 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 pushing that guy down, and then he runs over the side and throws the hand up to the other guy's face, who makes a meal out of it, obviously. But still, with MLS, you can't put your hands on somebody's face. So immediate red card, and you know he's going to get suspended for the rest of the season. Is he going to come back in the playoffs? Who knows? This might be the last time we see him at the dig. You consider no, that's, that's harsh. That's harsh because you get the hand to the games. face. I get it, but he embellished too. Yeah, pussy. I'm saying it. Pussy. It doesn't matter. You, you got to learn, learn from Slatan, bro. You can't put your hands on somebody's face. It you got to learn from Slatan. He doesn't slap him. He doesn't hit him. He pushes him. Slatan got three games for slapping somebody. But he got somebody in the neck too, right? Like, yeah. Uh, Straight choke. Whatever it is, I'm with Eddie that I like this. Of course. I didn't say I liked it. I said I didn't hate it. It's a big <laughs> no, difference. Yeah. <laughs> Not in, if you see the replay when Grand Sir gets pushed, you see the face on Costa. I'm like, hey, don't touch my homie. And he goes, you know, he stands up for his teammate. Something that and anybody that has ever played soccer, you're always going to stand up for your teammate. Especially knowing that the player you're standing up for is not a problematic guy on yeah. the pitch. Right, I, 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 he probably this close to the to the playoffs. Probably don't do that, but knock his ass on the ground. Fuck it, yeah. knock his ass on the ground for sure. But don't get yourself a red card. That's the only thing that sucks. Besides that, they, yeah, dude, I was happy. I think anything, I think anything more than two games is harsh. Oh yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's a straight red. I'm game. watching the replay, dude. It's, I mean, yeah. He, he we'll see him for back for playoffs, the baby. Face. We'll see him back for playoffs. No, the last game and then playoffs. Yeah. Okay. But the, the thing that does uh, suck about this is because he was having a good game. Probably yeah. his best game. But, I mean, yeah, if, you, if, you look game. At, if you look at Vanny's fucking rotations or whatever you want to call him, He probably wouldn't have played next He wouldn't have played, yeah, the next yeah. two games. And, and according to Vanny, dude, on his interview, he did say he thinks this was one of Costa's. Like, unfortunately, that happened. But he thinks that this was one of uh, Costa's best games. And you kill his momentum. You have a good game today. He doesn't get that red card. He plays better the next game because you give the confidence to start. That's the hey. thing with Vanny. He doesn't play the next game. Hey, question: Do you guys think that uh, his wife has something planned? Uh. For the <laughs> no. next actually, so actually, like, hey, uh, actually, be some bullshit, bro. Coincidentally, you're ready to start. No. Believe it or not, <laughs> I was watching it, and the fight was literally about to start when that red happened. <laughs> Putazo they side, almost baby. lined up. I was like, ah, this fool wants to go in the locker room and watch the fight. Hey, not true, but honestly, bro, I hope you, like, you're cursing your words, bro, because if, honestly, I see a picture of that fool in, like, fucking Dubai or something, I'm, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Watch him being golfing like, with Gareth Bale and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> watch them being a uh, fucking private island and shit fuck. next weekend. I hope, but I, uh, jokes aside, I hope you learn. You know what? You're suspended. I get it. If you want to go to fucking Vegas or whatever, go for it. Don't post it. Be a professional. There you go. Right? There you go. You need a publicist or something, if not. Cause a family publicist, not personal. Yeah, because his wife shouldn't be posting either. Yeah. It's like, just don't post it. If you get caught by a fan, whatever. It is what it is. You know? Yeah. True. But yeah, but you're not putting it out there. Yeah, don't throw it in their face. But see, also, there's that whole thing with... The sport of soccer slash football not being that big here, so he's not gonna get that many eyes on him. Galaxy, it's a global team, and he's either a- way, it's, it's not as bad as he. If he would have done that when he was in Juve, he'd get more flack than they do here. Yeah, he, he did spit that guy when he was in Juve, so he's he's he. It's not the first time that Costa has done some really stupid things. Yeah. He's known he's known for like being very aggressive and just to losing his mind. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, he. He had he had a really good game. He he's had probably arguably one of those most complete games where, uh, since he joined the club. And you're going to do something stupid like that, and you win it just when you, you're finally peaking at, at your top performance. Just when you're finally fitting into this club in a position where you can really assist people uh, on your on your team, and then you go and do something like that, and you get suspended. Who knows how long he's going to be out? But this is what this is what what bothers me. It's like. 
think, man. Think. Use your fucking head. Don't do something stupid like that. I, I fucking hated having teammates like that when I when I you know, on my teams. Like when I used to play uh you know footy, and you had a guy like that who's like a fucking loose cannon. I hated people like that. I I was so happy when they would leave the team because it's somebody you don't have to worry about anymore. Yeah, I can actually relate to yeah, that. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but we had that in our Sunday league st- team. Yeah, but stupid is harsh. Because it wasn't the only reason I say stupid is harsh because it wasn't totally unprovoked. And I'll go back to it again. If you follow on social media, who's his closest homie there? Yeah, that's Grand Sir. They always post together. They always tag each other. I'm telling you, the face that you saw on Costa when he did that tackle, watch, yeah. watching the replay, it's like, dude, don't be touching my fucking player like that. And you want that type of camaraderie within yeah. your team. And Especially if you're trying to make a push think, to the playoffs. And think about it. Think about it. Think about it. What you said, S- spitting in somebody's face is like one of the most disrespectful things you yes. can do. A man so, to a man spitting in the face. So the fuck out of here. This wasn't as bad yeah. as spitting in somebody's face, if you ask me. Yeah. Right? I don't mean, does that uh, help a little bit? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It, it, in my, I mean, in my work, I don't defend that, man. I just think it's stupid because... I'm thinking about the future of the team, not just like some squabble you're going to have five minutes from now. And this is this is not the NHL where, like, you know, you, you get sent to the sim bin for five minutes and then you come back and everything's all good. This is, it's, it's going to, he's going to get suspended for the next game. And who knows when the MLS dipl- disciplinary committee is going to look at this because it wasn't like, you know, he, he just put his face to the guy, I mean, his hands to the guy's face, like, right away. You know, he went in there, like, slammed one of the dudes down, and then he went up to the, to the other guy and slapped him in the face. So it's probably got a yellow on top of a red, you know, one after the other. I mean, and his team needs him. I mean, we've been talking about how ineffective he's been all season long. I, 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 and I, I get it. he plays well enough to that where he's actually effective and he can actually do something for this club. And then I he get, does something like that. I get that's, it. But we're, really, we're spending a, a bit a bit much too time on it. It's too much time on it. I think we're never going to agree. So let's all agree to disagree. Uh, chat, chime in. Let us know in the chat. Um, we'll finish up this game. And yeah, we'll see. I don't know. None of us are right. The so we're Costa. four nil. Four nil. Let's just finish the game. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, we can't just finish the game. Uh, Vanny does some subs, the right ones. Takes out. Uh, fuck, I had it here and I lost it. <laughs> I know he takes out Chicha. He takes out. So I want to say Grand Sir. Uh, you know, game is game is over. Yeah. Hey, Cabral did come in, by the way. I know, yeah. I noticed. <laughs> More towards the end. Uh, Efra goes Cabral in. in together. Dejan. So De- Dejan comes in and gets an early look. He had a couple looks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he uh, gets he gets a, a good look. He dribbles at, I want to say, Bubakar as well. Yeah. Ooh, there's, there's one where he, he's going one on, not one on one, but it's like a, a, a free ball, him and the goalie, and the goalie kind of totally misses it. And he has, oh, yeah. like, a free look at the goal, and uh, he shoots, but it goes over. I mean, if he goes at, at target, that's the goal. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, he always just wants to get the goal, so he didn't have that calm mind to look up and maybe take no, he one step. Look up. He looked He did. He, he, the ball went no, through the, the goalie. The comments to, like, stop it, and because he had time to stop it. Yeah, and he, he was only one-on-one with a Abubakar, and he could have scored on that one. Yeah, he could have probably stopped it and tried to juke him. Yeah, too. yeah, and would have been the better option, but... You, Jovic is just an intense guy in the pitch. He wants to get his goal. He wants to get involved, especially when you're winning 4-0 already. You just want to add to that tally just to give the team even more confidence going into the, ne- the next match against uh, San Jose. And, I, you know, you can't blame a player like that. He's trying to get his. He's the future, you, baby. You, the future him, of the galaxy. You'd want him to get that goal. Uh, unfortunate he couldn't get it, but I'm not even mad about it. Jovic... Ricky wanted it too. Ricky took a, uh, oh, took yeah. a fucking rocket. From yeah. <laughs> it's day on day, baby. Every day is day on day. Every day is day on day. All right. Let's wrap it up with the goal against us. <sighs> yeah, clean sheet. Fucking the all elusive clean it. sheet. I know. More elusive than Brian. Dude, and, and me and Brian <laughs> were kind of debating right now when we were rewatching it. Like, whose fault? Was that guy who's who should have been on him? Julian. And exactly, I think, that's yeah, what I said. It was Julian. Julian. Julian's always good for one for some yep. reason, bro. Dude, just... Look, I will chime in on this only because it's three on two. Because it's, it's Julian, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's three on two. It's three on two. Uh, what are you gonna do on a three on two? What the fuck? Efra stays in the middle. He knows that there's a defender in the blind side, but he doesn't do shit. 
look at the replay. You yeah. got three. You got three people up there to score, and you got two defenders. Yeah. You got um, was it Kulabali on the first guy and Julian on the second guy? Nobody on the third guy uh, over here at the end. Exactly. But while the plays, while the plays getting itself uh, done, Efra doesn't ever run to help defend. He just kind of stays back and just walks. I'll, like, give it Bro. I'll give it to you. You know what? Fuck it. We won for one. I'll give it to you. No, but you're right. You're right. You could you could you could point a lot of fingers. You can point uh, CDMs. You can point uh, Efra. Uh, you could. And then it's, I'm just being a dick because you know Chewy. <laughs> Not Chewy's like uh, what Twoman is to fucking LAFC. Uh, yeah. I'll, give it, I'll, no, I'll, I'll give blame to Julian when yeah, but right now I do it. That one three three on two. Who do you expect to be back there? I no. expected Efra to at least help out. Or either go to the middle and have Julian go to the third guy, or go to the third guy and keep Ju- uh, uh, Julian in the middle. It's it's hard though. This one's hard because you could even, dude, you could go as much as give it to Cabral because he didn't fucking help, which made them shift. I mean, I, I play defense, dude, and if I'm a defender in the box, I'm looking at the person in front of me. The defender is looking at the person in front of him. Yeah. There's the person behind me that has to be Araujo. I mean, not Ajo, uh, Efrain. No, he well, has to. He has to get that person because he's on the wing. I want to say Casares was kind yeah, of no man's land, so no the, man's the shift land. kind of fucked up. Not yeah, but really. Who the fuck is that? It was Casares. It's, 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 it's kind of Cabral, though. I mean, fuck it. It's yeah. It's kind of Cabral too, though. Because same what Tony's talking about. He's looking at the man in front of him, and he's kind of seeing that Cabral's not. I mean, also. The LA Galaxy had one player less at that point, so the world yeah. changes were going to be fucked well, up either way. Two, Efra was in. Oh. <laughs> and Cabral, <laughs> so three. <laughs> three. Yeah. Gledos. Uh, fuck it. You know what? We were 4 1. Let's not make yeah, it. Let's get we were right. What the fuck? Let's get it. We won, bro. <laughs> I lost my voice. I, I'll be honest, I didn't expect the uh, goose egg. I, I was telling Tony when we were, uh, before going into the game, I thought it was going to be a 3 2 game. Honestly. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be able to not have a goal against. All right. You guys want to do some awards? Yes. Yeah. All right. What do you guys want to go with first? Let's go with the Geo Award. Geo Game award. is off. No, no BJs today? No BJs today. Uh, nah, no BJs today. Uh, right, no BJs. Uh, game is off. I'll Harsh. do a BJ to uh, and I'll say that again. Oh, you want to start? No, no, you know what? I'm going to oh, keep it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to start that, the BJ, because it's going to be not real uh, serious. I'm giving all you guys a BJ. <laughs> <laughs> hey. but for now, what are you getting a picture with? I the thought BJs were when we history. lost. Ah, uh, that's true. We didn't get a picture. I don't even right know on. who he is. Yeah. <laughs> you can see, that's even worse. It's the guy from Sussex, England, bro. The guy oh, that runs the guy's history guy. account. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we you should've. guys all get a BJ from me. We, we should have. Um, <laughs> yeah, we should have got a person with him, dude. Yeah. Edgar, go ahead. Sorry to cut you off. I just had to do it. Oh, no, I'm just going to say Costa. That's just the way I feel, guys. I, mm. I know maybe you guys uh, I know you guys disagree because you feel that setting up for your teammate who could probably rip your head off, you know, is, is cool. Because I, re- I really do feel that um, that Grand Circuit completely handle himself in a situation like that. There's no way for, for Costa to run in there and do something that stupid that's going to affect uh, his availability with the team going forward, especially after what a good game he had. If I was Vanny, I'd be really upset. And, um, I mean, as a fan, I'm upset because I was like, well, this guy is finally doing something worth his DP tag, and then he does something stupid like that, and he has a history of doing things like that. So, is, is that... Is that a G award? No, uh, BJ. the BJ, the BJ oh, award, okay. the bad job award. Because uh, this game wasn't off. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. You know what? That is true. You, you're that's right. valid. Because right. actually, yeah, true. No, so we right. are doing a BJ award. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, of course, I, I guess the BJ. BJs. That was in line. Right. Yep. <laughs> Great BJ, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll second that BJ. <laughs> now let's go with the game is off award. Uh, I'll go first because. I'm going to piggyback off Edgar, although he gave him uh, Costa BJ. Uh, I'll give him the game is off because who else are you going to give it to? Mm-hmm. Because so, of the red? Yeah. That's oh, it, though. Yeah, dude. Now, who else are you going to give it to? Everybody I can give it to Ephraim, but again, 
it's game is off. Is his game off? No, he was just being Ephra. Mm-hmm. Ephra came in and was a traffic cone. <laughs> but it's, what else do we want? He doesn't want to be there. It's already it's already pretty much been verbalized that he doesn't want to be there. So. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Ephra doesn't want to be there? No. Nah. Nah. He has to leave when uh, Chivas made the loan offer. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I know. I said I would have drove him to the airport. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean for that reason only. That's the only reason. Why. And this is one of the harder games that I I don't know who to give it to. The it's, team. Played. That's why. That's why I would go that route because the, where are you gonna find it? Where are you gonna give that game is off? Is I'm gonna give it to uh, Chris Klein just for the fuck of it. <laughs> <laughs> but even there, for still being in the front office, I'll, I'll give it a. Not because I dislike this player, just because you would have expected him. To maybe convert one of the chances that he had, I'll give it to Jovic, mm. and not because it just the game was off. You expect him to put one of those away. Um, again, we're up four zero at that point. He was just trying to add to the tally, maybe give the Galaxy an opportunity to have a goal differential where it benefits the other Galaxy. Uh, but he didn't make one, so I guess that's harsh. <laughs> no, no, it's not like a I'm mad at him. Game is off. You know, it's just you expect them to put one of those way. Go yeah, ahead. I was um, I'll second that, and only because because I was trying to look it up. He's got a one, two, six games without a goal. So, hey, something something's up. Yeah. I mean, again, no goal, no losses. Again, <clears> I, no I assist. love his. I still love his efforts up top. All right. It was just he was just off today. Mm-hmm. Who you got, Tony? I'm gonna give it a Costa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it a Costa because again, to what uh, Edgar was saying, uh, you don't do that, man. That, I, I don't feel like anybody had a bad game. Honestly, everybody played good. Even the bench played good for whatever reason. Even if you want to add Efra on that spot, because I don't even really like him. But <laughs> yeah, funny. it has to be Costa. Hmm. Um, I've been trying to think about anybody that would like, I'd be like, yeah, this game is off. But, but it's really hard to point that out because this is one of those games where like everybody, everybody played well. Now, I do have excuse as far as like, uh, I didn't see that last, that, that, <laughs> that goal that Colorado scored because at that point, um, my Ezra, my little, my little guy, he was falling asleep, so we decided to leave a little early. So I remember we were in the parking lot, and we heard Colorado score, and I was like, hey, look at that. <laughs> Ezra leaves, and Colorado scores. So um, sorry about that, but um, I, I really don't know. Um, Glenn out? Glenn there out. You go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's we'll the perfect it. one. Something I have to say, too, as far as the goal differential, dude, we have a plus four goals on our side. Everybody below us is Real Salt Lake, which is 10 in points with us. They're minus four, and then it's Vancouver with minus 17. So, honestly, those four goals kind of did put us, us in a good yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it could have been more. Um, like I said, when, with, with uh, when was the last time we could say that we've only lost one out of the last eight? I mean, I think legit it argument. G- GBS era. Legit argument, though. Okay. And... This time it was a win instead of a draw. So, so I'll take it. Who's got heart, man? Mm. I, 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 Ricky. I'll, I'll go with Ricky. I'm actually not going to give Ricky an award today. Because you know what? I got to give it to the man. You can get benched and you can get demoralized and you can say, fuck this team. But you don't. You come in and you're still a fucking pit bull. So fucking Grand Sir. Gets my you got heart man award Ooh, for those yeah. reasons, bro. Yeah, that's how you fucking show that you want to play. That's how you show that you deserve to start. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. So and that physical presence was missing on that fucking side. Too. Yeah. Sorry for hitting my leg so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it one more time. One more time. One more time. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll go with Marta Ogato. He. Just does his work. Whatever he does next to Brugman, he knows how to play off of Brugman. On top of that, I think we discussed this earlier about him having that uh, press conference uh, 
chat after the last match, talking about he wasn't really comfortable on that hmm. wing is in that formation. And then when you put him back in his position, he just does his job. It's one of the players that doesn't that I think from the beginning of the season that we signed him, he's been one of the best signings that we've had. So yeah, I know he didn't score, he didn't assist, but just the work that he does off the ball and covering lanes and, and cutting off the opposition's offensive attack, it doesn't show up on the stats, but it, it's a big help in the pitch. And for that, he gets the You Got Hartman Award. Sorry for my voice. Where is she? man. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I had to give it to somebody, I am going to go with the person we've kind of hated for the last two, three games, <laughs> which is Chicha. Mm. Because I feel he's carried all the weight on his shoulders. Like, he accepts the fact that he's the one that's fucked up. And to score a goal that amazing. Banger. Yeah, it was a banger, dude. Like, he showed up, man. Like, he's, he's still there, man. His heart is still there, you know? So I, that's why I would give it to him. Who, who you got, Edgar? Well, I've been listening to you guys and remembering what I saw on the field. And there's so many people that are you could give this to. Um, to me, it's funny. To me, it's like the You Got Heart Man, where it's kind of like uh, has the same kind of prestige as the old Intercontinental Championship in WWF. That's just the way I see it, you know, because it's the white belt. Pre- it's, pre- it's prestigious, right? And uh, it's, it's not next any, but damn, it's prestigious. So I was thinking, could it be Raheem Edwards with that amazing goal that he scored? You know, I mean, damn, that's a, a hell of a goal. Could it be Chicha with that beautiful goal that he scored as well? But I was thinking, you know, how often does, does Chicha do amazing things in the box? We expect him to do. Uh, to score goals like that where, where the ball is given to him in the six and he's deadly. But then I got to give it to the guy or nobody expected to do anything. This is Gaston Brugman. Uh, because like you were saying it, uh, you guys were saying, you know, like Tony, hey, coach, I can score too. <laughs> and it's been a while since we had a CDM that could come in and uh, have an impact like that. We're talking about Ryan. And my goodness, I mean, the fact that he scored uh, not just once but twice, and that first goal completely changed the whole script for whatever Colorado probably had planned. They're probably like, yeah, you know, let's cover Chicharito, and like, let's make sure that, you know, if Jovalich is in there, we cover him as well, and make sure that Cabral doesn't do anything. And then all of a sudden, the Galaxy comes out with this lineup, and which is like, what? And then all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> She just not the one scoring the goal, but Brugman, you're like, what? That completely threw them off. Bro, and, 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 and it wasn't, like, this is coming off of the coach, Vanny. Like, Brugman's telling me that he could score. Like, literally, if you guys watch the interview, he'll say that. So it's like, bro, Brugman showed up straight yeah, up. Yeah, he did. He yeah, showed up. He was dope. I, I mean, just want Ricky because he beautiful. got three, three hockey assists, bro. Come on. He was involved in three scoring plays. Bro. One of them was a straight assist. The second, Brugman goal. Well, yeah. But come on, that's all fucking <laughs> Brugman right there. Yeah, no, nah, Brugman's, Brugman's was a good one. Uh, I kind of want you to go first for the next standing. Me? No, uh, Edgar. Cause he gave oh, yeah, because pick- I think everybody else is going to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want to see who's no, wait, your actually, next Hold on, let me guess. I might have a different one. Let me guess. Let me guess. Edgar's going to pick... We don't say it. Let him say it. No, why? Jassy yeah. Sardis. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go ahead, Edgar. I'm not even going to pressure bubble. <laughs> Who else, man? Three assists. Ricky Pooj. Oh. Uh, yeah. He's like, he's, he's been the biggest reason this club's still alive uh, this late in the season because... No talk because of Klein. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, Ricky Pooj, man. Uh, he got three assists. Like I said, and man, those it was it wasn't just like a little like Tap little assist. It was like these beautiful passes. Uh, we've been seeing him do it since he got here. Um, we kind of expected already. Did, when was the last time we were that this excited about somebody making a nice pass that led to a goal? And David Beckham, right? <laughs> or how? Or Beckham. how? Or how much we don't want a player to leave? <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> and, dude. Honestly, right. I told this to Chewy literally yesterday. I was like, bro, I think this is like the second coming of Beckham. That's right. how I see him. Hmm. He does have three kids. 
Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, to me, it's Polish, man. He's wearing the long sleeve and everything. Oh, yep. well, he's I mean, pretty. Tuck, Wait, I mean, did Beckham tuck his shirt? shirt. Tucked his shirt with a long sleeve. No, that shit looks hard, bro. Long sleeve. Make an actual long sleeve from Galaxy. Ooh, for real. If they make an actual long sleeve. With the same quasars on the wrist. Ooh. Oh. Nah, they don't, don't do that. They put that shit in the fucking. Yeah, what oh, I'm saying, yeah. like I if they did so. a long sleeve, know. you get on the on the I'll wrist. Be rocking side that shit of it. at the club. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that should be tight. Rock that shit at the club. Stupid ass. Uh, Who you got, Eddie? Go for next it. Standing. Uh, next standing. Next uh, standing. Well, we're of course. Here. Yeah, of course. The guy is playing both sides of the ball. Yep. Fucking Brugman. Talk yeah. about people you huh. want to huh. stay. Who? That's, Brugman. Yeah, that's Brugman. that's a guy we need. You ask me. Not right? we're talking sell about him. Sell him now. He's huh? expensive. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Let's make We're money. talking about um, certain formations, right, and the way we should play. And then in, in the formation we're talking about, which was, was which was with wingers, we had to pick one or the other. It was Degato or Brugman, right? You asked yeah. me that, and I told you, it was like Brugman. It's not that Degato's bad. I just I feel that Brugman has more to offer. Yeah. And yeah, that attacking is way better on Brooklyn. Oh, that's even be before I knew the guy had that in him. This yeah, I didn't discussion know he had was, it, but This now. discussion was before this game. Oh, so. Yeah, and Brooklyn. just to add on yours, because I, that's my next standing. This man, his pass percentage was at 100. Yeah, 23 to 23 or something like that. Took two shots, two goals. Wow. And he was the less utilized in possession-wise. He was the less utilized in, on the pitch, on that center mid. The most efficient player. The, the most efficient player on the pitch. He with made the, the rating, best runs. With the rating of 9.0. Efficiency, something we have not seen in this LA Galaxy team the whole season. Consider your voice is like that. I hope this is the episode he listens to. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Where is uh, she? We need we need the one in Spanish she? so they all pay attention. Oh, oh wait, you, what, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I was doing it. Oh, now you got to do Brug, we're saying Brugman. <laughs> <laughs> we're saying Brugman. Mami se la botella ahora. Yeah, go ahead, Tony. It's your turn. <laughs> I'm going to go against the current, dude. Um, Let's go. I, I, I want to give it to Brug, but... Sabaleta. No. Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm going to honestly give it to... Even though he didn't... Oh, he has this one goal. I'm going to have to give it to Araujo, bro. I think, Araujo. I, I think Araujo had a great game. Araujo. This is the best I've ever seen him. This he season. gave a great assist to Chicharito. Even the 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 way that he brought back down the ball from the pass of Ricky, which was a beautiful pass. Like he brought it down, like it was perfect. He was taking shots from outside the box. He was actually trying to like enforce himself into the defense, into their line. So yeah, I think I think I'll give it to him just for the sakes of uh, going against the green. So yeah, I, so I, pretty I, much just, just to be an asshole, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I, I like that. I like his. Of course you do. Hey. <laughs> so, so, so we pretty so much. Say Julian. So, <laughs> so we pretty much all stayed. Besides Eddie, we all stayed in uh, Hispanic heritage night. We stayed Latino. Mm-hmm. Hispanic. I mean, you mean Latinx? <laughs> it seems like ninety percent Latino. So uh, I guess. I mean, but Eddie went for the for the Frenchie. Yeah. Nah. I uh, mean. I didn't go. What did I? Yeah, we went for for yeah. No, I did that for Yuga Hartman. Exactly. He we all Bro- kept he it Latino. Bro- oh, all Latino. Yeah. He went Brugman for the. Uh, no, but either way, I think all these uh, positive awards when it comes to the next standing or the you got Hartman. There was a lot of people you could have picked. Yeah, this was a complete team performance. And these are the problems we want to have, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, who the fuck are we going to pick? You know, instead of, like, I don't know who to give it to. Because <laughs> uh, there's been times where we just want to give everybody the game is off. Or BJs. Or the BJs. And today we only have one BJ. And, and dude, something that we didn't even say. Like, Bond, there was maybe, he didn't have a lot of action. But the times that he did show up, he fu- there were yeah, blocks, bro. Yeah, like, they I were agree strong. With that like, yep. they were hard. 100% and he, agree. With he that. literally blocked them. And he had to take a double. Nah, hell no. Nah. For yeah. fucking up the first one. <laughs> oh, break. that's true. I work tomorrow. Oh, that's <laughs> also true. Why well, you remind me? 
Yeah, let me try that one more time. Okay. Rugma. <laughs> Cheers. I don't even know what happened. Like, I think go, I hit Edgar. your shit like this or something. Cheers, Edgar. Cheers, Edgar. Um, oh. He's right behind you guys. We got some questions. Ooh. By the way, I'm, like looking at who, I'm looking at who scores. Mm-hmm. I don't understand this. They have Casa at a 6.8 with an assist. I guess he had a hockey assist. How does he get a 6.8? Yeah, he did have a hockey assist. The okay, one well, that, well, let me ask you, everybody here. What was your overall thought on his game? He didn't fuck up. He didn't fuck up. Mm-hmm. That goal, I mean, it was... Everything from his side. Yeah. Nothing went through him. Is he our legit starter? If we Hold get on, let's go to the question. Then that's okay. gonna, that's the last question. Well, well let's ask that question. Is he a legit starter? Let's say we get to the playoffs. Do you start him or do you start you the Kula Body? Now? No. Oh, no. Well, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll All right, go for it. Uh, we got some questions with my fucked up ass voice. Yay. From Logan Jones. Logan. Where is she? Shout out to Logan. <laughs> Great Cabral gonna start next week because the Mascosa trying to do WWE. Yes. Yeah. One, one more time? Great. Cabral's gonna start next week because the Mascosa. Was trying to here's the, be. Here's wait, the wait, thing. Wait, did he say it as a joke? Like, great, Cabral starting this. Well, he put it as a one like, sentence. <laughs> yeah, he, I know Logan Jones doesn't like Cabral. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Nah. Here, here's the thing, though. You play that formation. It's He's not, It's not the worst thing in the world. You probably won't get the same, but it won't be the worst thing in the world. He could break the lines, bro. Yeah, yeah. He could break the lines and dish out to Chicha. Yeah. Hopefully, or try to. This is it. <laughs> this, is, this is the one. This is definitely working wrong. Where's the lipstick? <laughs> you want the red nose right there? Gotcha, bro. <laughs> Jip the barber. See what happens when Cabral's not playing. <laughs> no, 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 no. See what what happens? No, no, no. Right I, I, I got to rephrase that. See what happens when Vasquez is not playing. E- Maybe that one, too. Ow. Uh, he also says, as soon as he came in, we couldn't score. LOL. We're down one man, though. We couldn't score. We're down one man. Come yeah. on. Come on. Oh. Adrian, 13, a.k.a. Spenny. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Some guy. <laughs> Does Eddie remember the bet that he made with Spenny? Wait, what? What was it? I don't If the LA Galaxy makes it to the playoffs, oh, he's yeah, spotting the, the keg. No, but it's a home match. If it's a home match. Yeah, I was supposed to buy it for the first round, the playoffs. Ooh. Well, if they win these next three. We're in a playoff contender hosting position. It's hosting hard. position. It's, it's harsh. I don't Imagine this was getting fourth somehow. Impossible right now, right? Yeah. Bet. And that does it. Thank you guys for submitting your questions our, and your comments. Our questions, then. The CB conversation. Yeah. I think it's an important I'll go first. one. first. Let, yes. uh, oh, let me go first. Let me go first. Let me just start it. Let me just start it. Go ahead. Kulabali's out because I was in. All right, cool. So, no. Uh, I will stir it because that's not stirring the pot. So, I do Williams out and it's Kulabali and Caseras. What's your biggest What's your biggest complaint about Williams? His positioning and getting caught in no man's land, especially in set pieces. Okay. We know Sega sometimes his issues is the, the dribbling out. I hate that shit. No. Beautiful dribbling out, just too much. Okay, since you you've gotten Brugman, it's been a lot less because he has somebody to take deep. off his feet. It's just deep. It, but even in this game, he was trying to dribble down, which is I, I still uh, dislike that from my center back. I don't know, I don't know, man. You're talking no. about you're talking about a game, especially in the playoffs when it's one offs. It can yeah. be lost. And, and in well, a, one thing I do like can, about Kobali. Hold on, hold on. Right. It can be lost in a moment. Williams loses marks, and Williams tries to fucking d- fucking alley you sometimes. You yeah. know, causes penalties. Yeah, you know he's a slam dunk champion. <laughs> slam dunk champion, bro. But I'm just saying. I mean, those two things, moments, playoffs can be decided. So, so are goal. you telling me Kulubali over Williams? I'm saying Casares and and, and uh, Casares, Casares, Cas- whatever. I just took a shot. We're American, bro. Casares, Casares, Casadilla. <laughs> Um, Casamigos? I don't know. Casamigos. <laughs> One thing I do like about Kulabali is the fact that he is a somewhat pacey center back, which will help a lot in the playoffs when and you then, face a team you, like and then you have an your, Austin. And who then you have has, your tronco in Casares. But he's not a tronco, though. He's just a tronco when he plays right back because 
fact, he doesn't have the legs for it anymore. And contrary to belief, MLS is pretty physically imposing and it's pretty pacey. I know a lot of the other leagues like to shit on MLS, but MLS is pretty good. Not the best league yet in the world, but it's a place where if you're not in shape and you're not in form, you're not going to succeed. Count me out. <laughs> <laughs> Count what you think, Edgar? The, what you think about the two center back pairings with uh, Caceres and uh, Koulibaly? I think it's a good uh, it's a good problem to have. You can't figure out who you want in the back. Uh, the only uh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> The yes. only like real big concern I have is the fact that Cáceres is still learning the, to play along his teammates. Uh, I think I said it last week. One of the important things that I'm playing in center back, which I did a lot towards the end of my days, is having a good, a good relationship with uh, the other center backs that you're playing with. Communication is so important, and I'm not sure how well Cáceres and the uh, Sega Kudabali could communicate. And same goes for Williams because I don't know I don't know if Williams speaks Spanish. I don't know if Cassidy speaks English or French. So there's that. Uh, I, I mean I've always felt that Sega and Williams do a, do a fine job in the back. Like I said, a lot of the issues uh, that Galaxy had was them having to cover up for some of the mistakes that Julian would make or that some of the other wing backs would make. So I feel I feel pretty confident with the center backs. I mean you could. You, you could put the pew back there. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no that's where you fucked put, up. Yeah, no, put, <laughs> you put, totally no, fucked up already. No, put the pew back there with, uh, with Jalen Neal, and we're solid, man. Hey, low-key, Jalen Neal's going to be good with us. Jalen Neal is no, over the no. pew and some of the Yes, yes. Yeah, just but, smarts on that kid. But that's not the conversation I mean, right now. But, no, I'm just saying, Sega, no, Sega's pretty solid. I mean, we, you guys get so mute call him. Sega Siani. I like, didn't. Because yeah. he's had Sega Siani games. So. Love, no. <laughs> he has had a Sega Siani game. That season, this season, not at all. Ah, fuck yeah. Uh, what you mean? Oh, what? He started what off the, good. Then the, he had a couple of stickers. You've been on this show plenty of times. He's had bitching and whining here. about Williams. Williams, yeah. yeah um, biggest but Kulabai has had, had some stickers too. You can't. The biggest I mean, with her Williams is he, he's kind of fragile. And we, we're, we're always like, every time he gets knocked down, we're like, oh my God, he's. He's dead. <laughs> they yeah. killed him. <laughs> but then he gets up and he keeps going. You're like, oh, okay. And then, you know, the, the fact that he dribbles out. But we already we already said the fact that he doesn't have to do that as much anymore because uh, Casada is, is solid. He's a solid defender. I mean, he's, he's going to be in that World Cup squad with Uruguay. Think about that for a second. Even if he doesn't start, the fact that he's going to, uh, going to the World Cup with Uruguay, that's something that's really important for us to have that kind of depth. Once he once he like really learns how to play alongside uh, whether it's Williams or Sega, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Sega. I mean that's a that's a good issue to have. I mean that's a good problem to have. Like who the hell do you put back there? At at some point, do you feel confident enough to even have three center backs back there? <laughs> you know, like a, there's no, times no, 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 no. where Fanny has we, we, we got to run the the right back left back. I feel like that's where our money's at. That opens like a three, up everybody five, two, else. With, the two, with, with like uh, Julian and Raheem playing, you know, kind of stacked back a little. Not yeah. exactly, uh, you know, wing backs, but not exactly midfielders. Just kind of there. No, you can't. You can't change it now. So, well, so there, you, there is somewhat of a silver lining with Casares start, starting uh, in the back. You have Brugman, who's his countryman, who they can communicate and cover for each other in that aspect, and then you have. Julian, who also speaks Spanish and could communicate to Kulabali or Williams what either Brugman or Casillas is trying to do, yeah. which which is sad. I mean, at this yeah, point, that's, that's we funny. just miss our defense. Time. Which is whole time, like, uh, Sega speaks, like, fluent Spanish, and we're like, I wonder how we're going to communicate with you guys. <laughs> we're not even giving them enough credit. We're <laughs> puta. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some baby blue Spanish. Oh, <laughs> Come on, yeah. <laughs> so, wait, so you're going to go Williams Kurubali or Williams uh, Cáceres? Uh, I'm so going to Williams. Williams Kurubali, but it's, it's good to have Cáceres there as an assurance policy in case one of these guys get hurt or if Williams just loses his form, especially towards the end of the season. Yeah. Okay. And you were at where, Tony? 
I'm still going with uh, Cass Caceres or however you say the name. Caceres. And Williams. I'm Caceres. still going with that. You're there too, huh? <laughs> what about you, Chewy? Rafa Marquez. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Chewy, <laughs> yes. Rafa Marquez. So Come we're on. about to wrap it up. Can I do? Can we do a bonus track? Let's do a bonus track. All right, here we go. You ready? Playoffs or it's no not playoffs? Galaxy related. Oh, well, actually, besides that. Okay. Well, do, you want to do that first and then bonus track. Okay. Right. That one. Playoffs, yes or no? I hate fuck. you. I fucking hate you already. Fuck. Yes, playoffs. The fuck? Yeah, hell yeah. Let's fucking go, Tony. Playoffs. <laughs> Get the fuck out it's of here. It's just tequila, baby. I, I'm not drunk enough. <laughs> Still All no. tequila is tequila. So you're, saying, so you're saying playoffs, yes, Tony? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hey, put hold on, on, on hold on, that guy too. Oh, damn. <laughs> so playoffs, Tony? Oh, Look at the camera fuck. saying yes, we're making it to the playoffs. Playoffs, yes. baby, let's go. <laughs> I got my fro on and everything, baby. Oh, how you gonna do me like that, Chewie? How you gonna do me like that, bro? <laughs> um, no. no. We're still not making the playoffs. Oof. Ooh, curse your words. It's in our hands, which is scary. And With one game. I think as much tequila as I had, that mathematically, if we beat Salt Lake and everything else goes our way, we can win one more after that and still make it. And I still don't feel that confident. Why? Houston. <laughs> why? Houston. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? Is oh, that, it's is that a real question? It's Elegoxy. Why? <laughs> this one really came out with why. You know I mean, you have to. Right now, I think the optimism is at its max, especially after a performance against 18. We haven't been in five years. I know. I get that. I get all that. But again, like we could talk about Ricky. We had Pavon and we've done this. Ricky's not Pavon. Yep. It's not. But and it was, arguably a better player to this team than what Pavon was. Whatever. Still no playoffs. Fuck you. Chewy? <laughs> playoffs, for sure. For sure. I don't know, but for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'm I'll with put 60-40. See <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how he's not even like... Oh, but but it's, a, it's a positive. Nah, man. <laughs> I'm going 85-25, homie. Hey, that's not even math. Put that beard <laughs> on the line. That's what I say. 85-15, you mean. Right. right. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to buy a keg. You can bet the beard. Yeah, uh, no. Edgar. I say yeah, playoffs. And I'll tell you why right now. <clears throat> but it's, it's. I think it's gonna come down to the Houston game. Um. Oh. Oh, wow. so you, you already took us out of the playoffs. Don't say that. Don't say that. Why does the league do that to us? San, San Jose. Is, they're not doing well. I mean, as much as the you know they want to pump up this game with the Cali Clasico, you know, or or our historical rivals and all that. They haven't won a game in a while. I think the last time they won was like they beat Vancouver, but it's been almost a month, I think, uh, maybe three weeks. But they've taken some hits, man. They got whooped by Cincinnati. They lost to Colorado. Uh, they managed to draw against uh, against Dallas, and now they got Galaxy. So that's that. You know, that, that's for them. That's this is this is it. But then they're, they're gonna put all their eggs in the basket for this game. Like Edgar. their season, yes. You know what you just did? Uh, you remember when Brian did that when we were gonna play Vancouver? Uh, you literally uh, just did the same thing. We just it. lost to San Jose. Don't Thank say you. it, dude. Why? Why would you put it <laughs> no, out no, there? No, no. Here's <laughs> the thing. Yeah, the uh, thing is that we we, we when uh, Galaxy lost to San Jose earlier in the season, it was one of those games. One of those games. I know there's like three of these games where Galaxy gave up three goals um, by the half. So. You would hope the team would learn from this. You would think that they would continue to carry that momentum from the 